What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Fresh on the Flea. Remember, my name is Mick. Just came back. Guess what? Gonna knock one down. How to rock the polo sport for you? You know what's up. So anybody watching these videos, do have any questions about do I sell my stuff? Remember, link is down below. Do check out the Depop. And I do want to say thank you to everybody who's been ordering and also orders went out today. Do enjoy that. Remember, if you guys want me to make more videos, you got to hit that like button as well as that, piece of that subscribe button if you're not already. And hit that bell button if you want to see when I upload immediately. Or hit that bell, YouTube will tell. Let's go. And there we go. So came upon an Oakley Sync Stealth backpack. You see that metal strapping? And you see the detail all the way through here. Super sick and it's super clean. Ugh. Very clean. $4.99. Just needs a little cleanup. It'll be good to go. I mean, you see the quality in that Oakley USA stuff right there. Pickup. You know it's a pickup. Yes, I did pick up the Oakley Sync Stealth backpack. Just super clean. This is actually a pretty good come up considering at Goodwill. Uh, it was only going for $4.99. As well as that, no rips, no tears, no big stuff. Minor flaws here and there with the coloring on the metal hardware itself. But everything is there. I metal. Uh, it does have like this wire going all the way through there. Just a sick piece. I'll be showing some comps right there. You know why I picked it up. Might go up on Depop, might be a personal. So only thing found on the t-shirts. Remember t-shirts are 249. This is Smith & Wesson uh, size XL T. It's always good, the S&W. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is a size XL Smith & Wesson tee. This one is awesome. Again, super clean, no stains, no rips, no tears. That's why I like it. Not big of a deal, but when you're picking up for the personal sometimes, the thrusts are awesome. So I'm taking off right now. The Smith & Wesson tee with the Oakley backpack, I'm ready for the range. On to the next thrift. Let's go. So yes, I'm back here at the spot that I used to come to all the time. Uh, I heard some new changes that they did to the spot. So I came here to check it out. And hopefully, I'm gonna come up. Let's get in. Huh. Yes, things have definitely changed here. It is completely now covered with shoes on the top. Um, there's more. Oh wait, you know what? These, this is not even the men's section anymore. What the heck? I guess the men's are over there. I'll be checking it out. I see a lot of racks though. Gotta look. So you guys may be saying to yourself, Mick, what are you doing in the uh, women's like outerwear? Right? In reality, I'm looking for uh, overalls because usually they put them here where the dresses are. So you never know what I'm gonna come up on. That's why I check anyway. I mean, you could usually see them on the bottom, but it is what it is. There we go. I did come up on something, but not overalls. Look at the pins. You could feel it already, that wool. It is some vintage Pendleton um, women's pulled, it's got pulled buttons. I mean, older, you can see like the staining on the neckline here. Look at that tag. It's not supposed to be this color, but that's pretty cool nonetheless. It's a women's. Ah, recognition, man, recognition. What am I gonna find, man? I gotta get into the men's section soon with the Uggs. Just ugging it over here. The heel drag. The thinking man. This does speak volumes. Just gotta say. But I'm in the books. Not usually here. They got a bunch of Nancy Drews, I think. But this place usually has a bunch of VHSs too. I don't see, whoa, what the heck? Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh, here's the section. Oh, this is, this is the only stuff that they have. Only stuff that they have now. They got Fatso, Thomas, Little Bear. Let's see, let's see, let's see. 
They got the grind from MTV. This is something to keep anybody's afternoon filled. Classic. Even on DVD, man. So classic. There we go. Nice Proline Vintage Starter. The right hat. Check out the embroidery right in the back. That's crazy. It's a Velcro strap back. And then you got the, that heartbeat like design. And the split color is just so sick. Any Giants fan will love it. You know what I'm talking about. And I believe all hats are like $2.99. So that's going to be a pickup. Yes, I did pick up the Giants cap right here. Amazing with that starter logo right on the back. It is a Velcro strap back. And on the inside, I do love to see that Proline and starter logo right next to each other. And it does say the right hat. It's pretty cool with that split color and as well as that heartbeat design. That's all I see whenever I see these caps. I mean, that is just so sick. And let alone that uh, found it. It was pretty much a pile of nothingness. It was all just strewn out, like cheap hats, nothing too hard hitting. And this one popped out. Any Giants fan would love that. I mean, you can see right there, made in Dominican Republic. You know what's up. They got zebras and they got birds here. Check out this one. The whole anatomical uh, bone structure here with the screw. Okay, you can't forget the screw for only $1.99. And then they got a kicking uh, duck over here. Let me see. So. You want to see some leprechaun pimp gear right here? The shillelagh will never disappoint. Flowing. So we got the Nike white tag here, but it's uh, made in Mexico. Just do it with the swoosh. Nice colors though. Probably gonna be a pickup. It does say large, but it looks like an XL. It's one of those things. Huh. Okay, okay made in Mexico. It does have that white tag with that red swoosh right there. I do like the print. Just do it. Tiny swoosh right there. Tea just like pop is the yellow. Again, you don't see too many yellow tees like this. Being fairly old, not too old, uh, does something for it. It's a size large. But like I said, uh, it looks like an XL. It really does. Remember measurements and pictures up on Depop. <sighs> Shorts time. Keep the Nike tag, right? I was like, these are some nice shorts. I'm gonna pick them up, right? See the Nike swoosh? And then look at the shorts looking smacksy. I was like, these are pretty clean, huh? And when I flipped it around, look, these are brand new. This is a definite cop right here. Check it out. Just super clean, man. Where'd they get these? Just gotta say thank you for the hookup. And how much? Yes, $4.99. Brand new that new new now these are definitely gonna go in the personal i was very surprised that these are brand new just a nike tag on the inside I'd actually say 2018 so these are fairly new uh, super comfy i'm always looking for some good nike shorts my last ones i wore into the ground who am i kidding i still have them paint stains and everything that is very much a clean pickup for 4.99 oh man i seen some real sparta stuff here man. 300 Honestly, I was really hoping this was OG. So sad.
mean, speak of the devil, right next to the Pizza Planet alien, missing arm. Okay, we got the Mickey Mouse canvas tote bag. I thought it was just like a boofy one. This is actually like wax inlay and uh, it does have the Hong Kong Disney registered logo right there. I mean, that's pretty cool. And that's gonna be picked up for two bucks. This stuff goes, man. It goes. So if you guys didn't know, I am a big Disney fan, uh, let alone my name being Mick, you know, Mickey Mouse, the connection. Gotta digress right there, but yes, it does say Mickey Mouse front and back. It is a nice tote bag. The inside is actually wax lined. Uh, it does say Disney Hong Kong in there. So I just love the profile of the Mickey Mouse head. Whenever you guys want it, this will be up on my Depop. Link down below. Go check it out. Haha, <laughs> touch me. Yo, this one is definitely a pickup right here. Major League Baseball, Felco, New York. Check out that vintage Dodgers jacket. Wow, the white and blue for real. That is crazy, it needs like a little wash, but it's good to go. Just crazy. You gotta know the home team, right? That is crazy. I love seeing that tag. Look at that Made in USA. Wow. I mean, the inside, you can see like all the discoloring and everything. But check out that patchwork, man. Whew. That is what it's all about. The thrift. You just never know what you're going to come up on. Yeah. But yes, that vintage Dodgers jacket that I did pick up, just awesome. It really is. I just love to see that Felco tag in there. Uh, it does say New York, made in USA, size large, so it's got that little oversized fit. The feeling of this thing is still just, it does feel buttery, like I always say. Patchwork is on point, just so sick. The lighting in here does it justice. Inside part that's supposed to be like white is a little yellowish, so I'm gonna try to I clean it up as best as I can without damaging the integrity of the vintageness of this thing because this one is such a crazy piece. Again, I'm gonna try to clean it up. I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do with it. I may keep it if it fits me. I haven't tried it on yet. It may go up on Depop. Any Dodger fan would love this thing. It's just awesome. It really is all over. You gotta trust in Felco. I gotta show some comps right there about Felco and also show the up close tag right here. It does say Felco New York, manufacturer of fine athletic clothing. It does say made in USA and also union made with the MLB logo on top. The fact that it was just sitting there in the racks is what freaks me out. It really does. I'm so happy I walked in. You know I'm done. I'm taking off. Let's go. I gotta say thank you guys for watching this video. I'm glad I filmed because there were moments where I just wasn't gonna film. Uh, I did what I could, I found what I could. Remember, I can only come up as much as the thrift stores are giving me. And, and how many I go into at the actual day as well as the time I go in, does really command that. So I'm, I'm just so happy to find what I can find in those areas. Gotta say new videos are coming, more finds are coming, more thrift hauls are coming. And also with that, a giveaway is coming. So keep that in mind. And with that, I'm just gonna say what I always say. Hit that sub button because my videos are coming. This was Mick from Fresh from the Flea.